I start off my week on Mondays. So Mondays, my husband, Johnny, is off of work because he's a pastor, so he gets Mondays off. And so that actually really helps me because he's able to take care of the baby while I kind of get a lot of work done on Mondays and just get things organized. Got my coffee here. And baby Boo woke up at five. I fed him and then he woke up again at six and I fed him. And then we just kind of cuddled in bed for a while. I think cherishing those moments, I know I have a lot to do in my day and I could have gotten out of bed and started my day, but I really am trying to be intentional to cherish all those moments to just cuddle and to relax and to be close to my baby with my husband together, all of us as a family. So we did that this morning and now it is currently 7.30 and like I said, I'm drinking my coffee, but I also got out the crock pot because this week I'm going to try some new things with meal prepping and meal planning because that has been the biggest struggle since giving birth is how to juggle all of that. So I decided on Sundays is going to be my meal prep days and my grocery days and I am not grocery shopping. I'm doing orders from Walmart. Walmart pickup is free which is amazing. So I go and I do, we do a Walmart pickup on Sundays and then I want a meal prep on Sundays, which we already bulked a bunch of rice and then my husband eats meat and rice and veggies for lunch. So we want to prep that on Sundays, although we didn't yesterday, we didn't have enough time. And then I would like to prep breakfast egg bites on Sundays, but again, we didn't have time yesterday. Um, but I got all the ingredients and stuff. And then I would like to do at least two crock pot meals a week because I can just throw those in at the beginning of the day and then it'll cook all day and then bam, it's ready for dinner. Um, I would like to batch some granola also on Sundays, but that didn't happen either. Yesterday we just got back from vacation. So um, my plans aren't going exactly as planned, but that's okay. So let me kind of show you my list. All right, so I kind of got organized just on this note sheet, like every day of the week, what's kind of the main things for those days. Um, wrote a small to-do list and then a small grocery list, what I wanted to meal prep um, for breakfast and lunches and then crock pot recipes. So I'm going to start with this crock pot recipe, taco seasoning, canned sweet corn, rotel, tomatoes, and green chilies, cannellini beans, cream cheese. So that's what I'm going to do right now is prep this to have it ready for dinner tonight. And then when we have leftovers, we can eat it tomorrow night as well. try to do at least one load of laundry every day. Does that happen all the time? No. Um, but since we had a baby, this is what I've been trying to do because things just get really behind. So. Okay. To wash my hands first, can I do that? Okay. <laughs> you recorded that?
So my mom gave me this book. It's called Praying for Your Child from Head to Toe. And I'm starting on day one and you pretty much every day pray for things around their mind, their eyes, their ears, um, their mouth, their neck, their hands, their heart, their shoulders, their back, their arms, their side, their sexuality, their legs, their knees, their feet. Yeah, I'm not going to do each of these every day. I'm just going to do like one section. So it'll take me quite a long time. Um, but I don't mind that. I hope to have my whole life to pray for him. And I just have been praying in um, my prayer binder. This is the smaller Coffee and Bible Time prayer journal. And I like that it's just compact I put you so we were okay, come on, come on. I think that's good. We were just on vacation for a week and it was great. A few ups and downs, first vacation with a baby. You know what overall it went really good but it's hard to get back into the grind after vacation because when you get back you just have to get back into a routine and honestly everything feels disorganized I'm drinking some a protein shake for breakfast because I just did not have the capacity to make breakfast today and I wanted to make those egg bites yesterday but I just didn't have time right now like I'm trying to get my life back together and you know it helped that yesterday I already started planning I already started meal planning and all that stuff but my brain just feels all over the place I mean it's a crazy week today is my um my father-in-law's birthday Thursday is Johnny's birthday my mom's birthday is coming up Friday we're going to a family reunion this weekend we'll be at my mom's house, so again we'll be traveling, which means I need to continue packing for a newborn. Not a newborn, sorry, he's an infant. I keep calling him a newborn, and he's not a newborn anymore. Breaks my heart. Um. So yeah, and then my mom's birthday's coming up, so I need to like I'm trying to plan for Johnny's birthday. I'm trying to plan for my mom's birthday. Um, I'm trying to get organized for work because we've just been doing a lot of stuff for work. So yeah, there's like three, three big, like I mean big things we're working on for work. So like I'm trying to also balance that and get back on track because I was gone for so long. Um. So as you can tell, just a little stressed, just a little overwhelmed. Um, I have to do a list of things I'm needing to do. I'm going to have a brain dump page. A brain dump, what does that mean? It just means you just, everything that's on your brain, you write it down, you get it out, you get it out on paper. So I'm going to do a brain dump page in here. I'm going to check my calendar since it's a Monday. Um, and write down everything I need to do. I'm also just cleaning up a little bit here because cluttered space equals cluttered mind. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm cleaning up and then I need to pump. See, my life just feels crazy. It just feels in that cell. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean up a little bit, get organized, get my life back on track.
right, it is currently 12, which means it is my lunch break. So I'm going, oof, I need to stretch. I'm going to go see what we make for lunch, have some baby cuddles, spend some time with my hubby. Then I'll probably be back up here working. I've been just trying to get everything organized. Johnny's birthday comes on Thursday. So I'm like trying to plan the meals, trying to plan the dessert, the gifts, the decor, everything. So it'll be a fun day. Um, but yeah, I have to just get, like I said, get everything reorganized today. So I've just been organizing my planner and we had a meeting um, for Hoffman and Bible Time. I have another meeting at 12.30 and then... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going to come next. I have to still continue to fold the rest of the laundry. The dinner's just cooking away. I would love to do those meal prep things like the egg bites and the granola, but I don't know if it's going to work out today. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Me and Johnny are gonna go work out. And I'm already working out my fingers. That right here. was my day today. Oh, can you <laughs> that was my reset to Monday day. Getting back to the grind and getting everything back together. So thank you so much for joining. Bye, love you.